In this video, we'll show you how to find a basis for a column space of a metric A. Objectives of this video will use an example to illustrate how to obtain a basis of the column space of a metric A. And second, explain why the method works. Here is the example. If A is equal to 343, and 101, find a basis of the column space of A. Recall the definition of the column space of A. It is a vector space spanned by the columns of A. This means it is a space spanned by 343, 202, 010, and 101. Are there any relations among the columns? Suppose there are numbers C1, C2, C3, C4, not all 0, such that C1 times 343 plus C2 times 202 plus C3 times 0, 010 0, plus C4 times 101 equal to 0, 0, 0. How are we going to find this C1, C2, C3, C4? This vector equation is equivalent to a metric equation given by here. So how do we solve this metric equation? Since the metric A has no inverse, so we must use row reduction. How do we start the row operations? We must start with the augmented metric first, which is 343, 202, 010, 101, and 000. Now, in the exams, you have to show all the detail working. I'm going to use my calculator, class pack. I'm going to start with action. And then select metric calculation. And then select RREF. Then I'm going to enter the metric. So I'm going to start with keyboard 2D. And then I'm going to select calculus. I start with enter a 2 by 2 metric. And then I'm going to add another row. So it becomes 3 by 2. Going to add another column. So 3 by 3, 3 by 4, 3 by 5. Now start enter the entry. And then I Close the bracket. Select the EXE button and you find the row reduce form. So I finally find that the augmented matrix is row equivalent to this row reduce form, which means that the system equation has the same solution. Now observe that in this row reduce epsilon form, we find that columns 3 is equal to 1 quarter times column 1 and minus 3 over 8 times column 2. Now, if we rearrange this, I would have 1 quarter times 1 0 0 minus 3 over 8 times 0 1 0 minus 1 times 1 quarter minus 3 over 8 0 equal to 0 0 0 or as we recall that the REF of A 
consists of four columns, which is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 quarter, minus 3 over 8, 0, and 0, half, 0. That is why I can add an extra fourth column, which is 0, half, 0, And the equation will become 1 quarter times 1 zero zero minus 3 over 8 times 0 1 zero minus 1 times 1 quarter minus 3 over 8 zero plus 0 times 0 half zero equal to the zero vector. Now this vector equation can be rewrite as a metric equation which I show you here. However, we know that the system equation in the row reduced form is row equivalent to the original system. That means that this solution, 1 quarter minus 3 over 8 minus 1 zero, also is the solution of the original system. Thus, we have the row reduced form of matrix A replace the matrix A now. This new matrix equation can be rewrite in vector form. So, by rearrange the equation, we will find that 0, 1, 0 is actually a linear combination of 3, 4, 3 and 2, 0, 2. In summary, we are given A and from the row videos epsilon form of A, we know that Columns 3 is equal to 1 quarter of column 1 minus 3 over 8 of column 2. And we found out that from the earlier discussion, which means that 0, 1, 0 is equal to 1 quarter of 3, 4, 3 minus 3 over 8 of 2, 0, 2, as explained earlier. Similarly, in the row with this form of A, we observe that column 4 is half of column 2. So we also expect in the columns of A, the column for 1, 0, 1 is also half a column 2. This explains why there is such magical relation among columns of A and RR, EF of A. Since column 3, 0, 1, 0 of A is equal to the linear combination of column 1 and column 2, and column 4 is also half of column 2. Therefore, the column space of A is equal to the span of just 343 and 202. These two vectors will form a basis for the column space of A.